Park City, Utah at the Evo Conference. It's been really fun. We got here yesterday. We got to meet a lot of bloggers, which is really exciting because I actually follow a few of their blogs, so that was really fun to meet them. We're off to a crafting class. I'm really excited slash nervous because these bloggers that I follow um, are really good at doing crafts. I like to find easy craft projects. <laughs> so this is like you're competing against each other to be creative. So we're gonna like, kill it. We're gonna kill it. Anyway, so we're just heading over here to this tent. I'm counting on you, Katie. And we're gonna get our craft on. Okay, so we're inside of the tent and we're all just eating lunch. Yummy. And with all these talented women. Yeah. And we're getting ready to make some crafts. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm with Sarah. Hi. She's my teammate today. And I am I'm really sorry because I, I haven't crafted since I was like 14. And I am definitely not gonna be an asset to our team. I don't but believe that. At I will all. cheerlead you on. I will do what you tell me. I will hold things together with glue. <laughs> I'll do whatever you say. I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm excited. I did say I'm really happy that Sarah's with me because she's always like, Kaylee, you're awesome. And I'm like, okay. I'm good at that. I could totally do that. If that's what it takes to win this thing, I'm honest. Okay. Not an eating cookies. Okay, so we're at our first craft project, and it looks really super cute. Everything's sponsored by Lowe's. I don't know if I said that. But this is what our first project is. We're spray painting some mason jars, looks like. And then I think we're making them look foggy with this frost. This is really exciting. This is something that I've wanted to do, but I'm always really nervous to try new things. So this is so much fun. And I can do more projects to show you guys, which is really exciting. So she's making stripes on hers, and then we're going to frost them. Cute. Tape on my fingers. I love it. So I'm going to put stripes on mine going this way. Okay. So mine will be a little bit different. Mine will be a little bit different, but I got my different. Okay, so I got my tape on my mason jar, and we just had regular blue tape here. And everyone's being so creative and doing different things. Very nice. um, oh I don't know. Look at this. That one is very good. Wowza. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you would. I need to tell you guys that I couldn't cut a straight line, so I went more rustic y and just cut, just tore strips. And Sarah, um, please. We're it will be great! I bet you'll love it when it's all done. So we're going to go outside and spray paint our lids here that are going to go on there. And then spray the jars of frost. So, you ready? I'm ready. What color are you going to use? Probably pink. I mean, I like pink. I mean, you know. Okay, so we're just going to start spray painting. We're using this brand. I don't really know like the secret to spray painting. Probably not getting it on that thick, but that's what's happening right now. You got the fumes? Yeah. How did I get any fumes? That's so pretty. I think I got mine on a little thick -ish. Okay, here goes Sarah. Good luck. Frosted up her mason jar. These girls are over there doing theirs. It looks so cute. You can see that they're frosty. Okay, so I'm going to frost my jar. And this is cool, it's just spray paint, which is awesome. I didn't know it was so easy. Just like a frosted spray paint? Yeah. So it's cool to have it frosted because we're going to put a light in there. And then, it, you know, some of it's going to be frosted, the design won't be. And the light's just going to show through pretty. I'm excited. Okay, we're leaving our jars outside to dry. We're gonna go in and check out another craft. This is really fun. These are so cute, they're jewelry boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a color and I'm not sure what color would be best. I really like this one. I think it would look cute in my bedroom. I also really like these greens. And oranges, in every color. <laughs> okay, so these are the things that you put like at the top of a fence. And they've just put those together. And then you just connect them and make a jewelry box, which is such a great idea. Oh, she would just say, you can make them as gift boxes and jewelry boxes. What a great I, idea. Because I am getting married. I'm going to use these at the bridal shower. Oh, my goodness. As a, you know, party favor. 
and That's such a good idea. So you can match uh, your wedding colors. I think it would be fun to send a, a baby shower, any anything that you're doing, and you can do any color. It's super fun. We're dancing. Aww. We're not only crafting, we're dancing and crafting. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> so I actually have a really big jewelry box, but I'm going to make one for Brady. She's going to be so excited. So I picked pink. She's kind of a pink girl. This would also be perfect for little girl's birthday presents. And it's not going to be too expensive, so that's really great. Or Christmas presents. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so we picked out our colors that we wanted, and now we're just cooking on these hinges. And they just come in these little packets. And you just hook one here. I think you could hook two if you wanted to, but I just hooked one there. Now we're trying to put these cute little latches on. And they also just come in a little case. Everything is from Lowe's. So this is that part. Here is this part. And we have to hammer them in there, which is kind of hard. Um, if it doesn't fit, you can squeeze that together and make it fit. You just hammer that in. Then you can stick a little lock on there. These little TD things are a little tricky. Because they're so small, my fingers are getting in the way. Okay, so I'm done with this, and I'm not saying it was easy, but it is a really cute idea. This is for Braylee. Just open it up. It's a little jewelry box. Make sure that you can bend it the right way before you... Make sure love it, and I think I'm going to put like a cute bee on here, maybe a little Braylee, yeah. or a cute one? flower. You can tape a mirror right there. Some felt. Do all sorts of things. Yeah, we need a little... Very cute. How's it going? I'm actually kind of getting into it. I'm like, almost done. Are you going to like totally start crafting with me back home? That looks really like, good. What on that? Well, it's getting there. Okay, so this is another craft that they have here. Since I'm out of time, I'm just going to show you how you can make this if you guys want to at home because it really is a really cute idea. You just take these pieces of wood and then a sign stake. And then you're going to drill holes and put those in there. Then you can hang cards or pictures on there. Very cute idea. Okay, so here's another idea from Lowe's. Very cute. A garden chime. And so basically, what? how are we making this? Okay, so you take a string. Okay. And then you put, let's see here. Put them together like that. So they're doubled. Okay. And then you take your key and you put it in one side so it hangs there, right? Okay. So it looks like this. So it hangs. And then I put the first knot here okay. so that your pot hangs over the key so it makes the noise. Okay. And then you want to map out where your next um, knots are going to be. Uh -huh. So maybe like right here and then right here. Just make sure you have enough room at the top so that you can, you know, hang it wherever you want to hang it. Okay. And so that it looks like that. Oh, very cute. If you have it too far apart, you're going to run out of room. Okay. So, and then you can decorate however you like. Very cute. So, so make sure when you're putting them on that you tie the first knot, put the pot on. Tie the next knot, put the pot on. Tie the next knot and put the pot on. And tie again. <laughs> very, very cute. So some of these crafts I might be finishing at home and I will be sure to vlog. Okay, so we're doing a big okay, craft good. challenge with a bunch of different teams. These so are blanket. our supplies. And there's four of us on this team. Four of these creative women. And we're trying to win a Lowe's gift card. Uh, Lowe's is going to decide who the winner is. So we're right now trying to come up with an idea. Okay. What we're going to do. Okay, so we've decided that we're going to make a table and we're using flower pots for the lay. And then we have some wood here. We're going to glue it together and then we're going to paint it this color. So we're making a table and I'm making a basket. Table. I think it's pretty darn cute. I think it is pretty cute. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, look at they got their blog names on the board. Right, How ready? cute! Very cute. This is pretty amazing. There's a bench, a tent, a bed. It's the accessories. It's all about the My goodness. That's amazing. A fire. There's even a marshmallow. Oh, I was going to say what It's a chandelier. That is so cool. Very very cute, awesome. Wow. These lights inside. 
Okay, this is a little clubhouse. Very cute. Lemonade stand, very cute. Yeah, that's adorable. That's very cute. So many creative ladies. Yeah. So, we like ours. We're not saying that ours is the best. No, nope. but we're saying that we worked hard. We did. We we really just get an A for effort. We tried. Really I you know I feel like we kind of went along with what they wanted to do. Yeah, and we did our part. And what yeah. Sarah and I really wanted to do is build a house. Yeah, but our teammates were like not up for that. Yeah, we, we could have done it. We were gonna build a kitchen. But yeah, we were gonna we were gonna build <laughs> with a an oven that worked. <laughs> yeah, that's. But you know, it's <laughs> not enough time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you know. So. I would use our table. It would be really would cute too. in I California. Oh, I really like it. So we are outside and we're getting our jars that we made. This is mine. That's a stripe so that light's going to shine through there. And Sarah's is really cute. You know, it's all right. We got we got a couple edging problems, but that's all right for, for a first crafting attempt. That's why I just tore mine and I was like, I'm going to pretend that this is on purpose because I can't cut a straight line right now. Look at our cute little matching. Yeah. Matchy, oh, matchy. yeah, that did match really well. This would be cute in Riley's room, these two things. And then I'm going to make one of these picture stands that I was talking about, and I will show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I'm done crafting for the day. We're back in the room just relaxing. This Carly Styles. I'm on my new computer. That was really nice of you to come and show my crafting face <laughs> on your channel. I want to send that footage oh. to whoever's editing this, Jessica. We snuck into the crafting room. And Sarah and Kaylee did not know we were in there. And Kaylee's doing this. Just get going. I was now. not licking my lips. She wasn't. She's doing this. She's breaking a sweat. <laughs> I showed you guys. I was hammering those tiny little nails. <laughs> <laughs> Your face was so cute. Oh, I loved it. It was like a little. Did you have fun? Coloring. Yeah. Trying to save <laughs> Well, we rocked. Really we rocked hard. the craft <laughs> stuff as much as we could rock like it. Too. So I hope you guys liked seeing what we did today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.